Welcome back to the channel and today we'll be taking a look at something that's been out in the market for quite a while and a newer version has sort of replaced it. It is the Surface Go 1. Yes, I know there's a Surface Go 2 out just recently but we're going to be looking at the 1 today as now its value proposition is really good and I feel it's a very good device to get especially now in the second hand market, it's quite flooded with it. So let's jump right into today's video, let's go. First pricing, it's around $300 to $450 SGD used on carousel with the keyboard as this new Surface Go 2 has replaced it. That's quite decent considering its portability, build quality and price compared to other 2-in-1s. For the specification, it has an Intel Pentium 4415Y at 1.6GHz with 2 cores, 4 threads. Either 4 or 8GB of RAM that's soldered on, 64 or 128 gigs of storage, a 10 inch IPS screen with a resolution of 1800 by 1200, dual band AC Wi Fi with a 26.7 watt hour battery. It also features a quick release charging cable, which is something like the olden day MacBooks, where you can't really pull the laptop down a bit. And even though this is an old device, it seems quite peppy for SSD. And with the Type-C interface, you can sort of connect it to a dock or dongle for expanded expandability. You also have a microSD card slot at the back of the tablet they can use to install applications too if you format it with NTFS. Many people would say the battery life on this tablet isn't very good, and I would agree, with around 4-5 to five hours, it's not really that good considering its processor and specifications. However, you can use a USB-C power bank to charge it, though it's very slow, and even your phone's adapter can also charge it. Though sometimes it may drop in percentage as it's only 9V 2M if you say you're using a Samsung one. For the build quality, I say there's very little flex when I'm typing at the keyboard on its laptop mode which is quite good considering that the keyboard is very thin. It definitely does not feel like a cheap product compared to other 2-in-1 tablets in this $400 to $450 price range. So why would I buy this laptop instead of something else like the Lenovo laptops? Well, its size allows me to carry around pretty much anywhere in a small sling bag. And compared to a traditional 2-in-1 laptop like the Dell one I reviewed recently, that is 13.36 inches, it's definitely more portable. With front firing speakers also which makes listening to music quite alright, though it lacks a bit of bass. And best of all, it also features Windows Hello facial recognition, which makes signing into this laptop extremely easy. With using it, as long as you don't open too many Google Chrome tabs and leave like applications like Spotify or high intensive applications in the background, you'll be quite fine getting around 4 gigs of RAM. Though if you want something a bit more powerful, I recommend the 8 gigs of RAM version. The cameras are not that amazing, but it's good enough to do some video calls or Skype. Last of all, I do like that you can use this thing like a normal iPad by disconnecting the keyboard. Or I can use it like a normal laptop by attaching the key mod to it which is very easy to remove. And the key mod is also backlit so if you're doing work at night, there's no issue at all. In the end, the Surface Go 1 is a really good laptop. If you say you just need something for like Microsoft Word or some basic Google Chrome tabs and all those sort of things, it's not really a laptop that you're going to be gaming on. With this small form factor, it's definitely very portable. It can fit into very small bags and it does fit the certain market of people who just need a laptop just to do basic stuff and not really game or video edit on it. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, share a comment down below and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.